Hello, and welcome to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and today we're going to continue on with managing the score manager. We are going to take a look at the basic functionality of the instrument list within the score manager. And uh, I'm just going to open my file here, and the first thing we do is Command K to get to the score manager, and you will see that uh, we have the file info selected, so we're going to swap over to the right side and the instrument list. Now this is going to be where you add and uh, subtract all of your instruments and all of that basic stuff that you need to set up your score. Uh, so whether or not you've, you've set up your score with the setup wizard or if you started with a blank document, you can uh, edit what you have or add to it from this window. Okay. So uh, just a quick look around the window. You'll notice that you'll have the, these, co these rows with the instruments and it, here's the instrument name. Um, there's some mutant solo, uh, device, sound, program, bank channel. That's all information about playback, which we'll get into later. And you can actually add some some uh, information to those uh, columns if you want to see the mixed data, for example. That'll add volume and pan. The rec um, oops, I don't want to do that. The uh, record will let you know if it's uh, if that instrument is record enabled and stuff like that. Uh, percussion MIDI map will tell you what MIDI map a percussion instrument is using. And start measure, incidentally, if you're if you're using uh, Finale's instrument change, which uh, we will get to in another uh, at another point, um, th this uh, this column will show you what measure the new instruments are starting. For now, they all say one because I have no instrument changes, and they all these instruments start in measure one. So that's the uh, the customized view over there, and this, the the uh, stuff in the bottom right hand corner of the instrument list panel of Score Manager. We'll get into some of the later lessons. Uh, that's where you will uh, um, customize some of the the basic stuff within for your staff. And now the basic functionality of the instrument list is to add and delete instruments. So I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly. It's just with this little button here, add instrument. And let's say we want to add the oboe, and it'll categorize everything, so you can you know you can find things a little bit quicker if you need to. But for now, we're, it's easy enough to just use all woodwinds. Let's say we want to add an oboe, and after Finale loads all the sounds, it will add your oboe. And to delete an instrument, it's just as simple as selecting it, going all the way over to the right, and there's a little X there. Click X, and it is gone. Now, incidentally, Finale will put the instruments in the proper orchestral order if you have orchestral selected here, where it says score order. And there's a, a couple different um, types of orders, which I think will uh, subtly change the order of instruments in, in specific ways, depending on what you have selected here. All right. If you select custom, then you can put the, the instruments anywhere you want. So let's say I want the, the oboe below the piano for some reason. The way to do that is select piano. It'll always put the instrument below the selected instrument. So select piano, add instruments, woodwinds, oboe, and it will put the oboe below the piano. Now once you have the instrument there and you want to change the order, that's easy too. Just this little icon here, just click on it and drag it and you can drag it back up to its proper place. Easy enough. Now let's say you've added a bunch of instruments and for some weird reason they've all gotten all kinds of out of order, like so. Okay? There is an easy way to get everything back to orchestral order without having to drag and click and drag all of these instruments. Just go back to this score order down here, collect, select orchestral, and boom, Finale automatically resorts them into their proper place. Okay, uh, let's talk about that, let's talk about that. Yes, if you want to simply change an instrument, uh, now this would be handy, if, for example, you have an oboe staff here and you have all these notes and data in your oboe staff and you don't want to um, delete that, you know, if you want to change the oboe to English horn but you don't want to delete all those notes, you know, just in, in this column where it says instrument select, Click on the name of the instrument and then find the English horn, and that will change that staff to English horn. And you don't have to delete the, you know, you don't have to delete the staff and then add a new one and then recopy everything. All right, easy enough. 
Um, change instrument, changing the instrument name. So another cool thing that you can do in the instrument list part of the score manager is actually change the name. Now this section down here on the bottom left is where that will happen. And you can s select the full name and uh, this little edit text window will come up and you can change this to anything your heart desires. So we are going to call this Blue Flute. Right? And we can also change the abbreviated name. We'll call this BL. FL for blue flute. And you can see over here it's changed the flute name to blue flute and BLFL. Easy enough. Now the cool thing about these uh, edit text windows is that they're completely formatable. So if I were to go in here and select the word blue and up here find the text menu, uh, you can do all kinds of stuff. Change the font, the size, the style, uh, baseline shift, all, all this other kinds of stuff. All right. So let's say we want to change the blue, we're going to uh, make it italics, right? And then let's say with the flute, with the word flute, we're going to go up here and change the size. And then we're going to go here and make it bold. And there you go. You have this crazy looking staff name. If that's really what you want to do, it's available for you. Um, the other thing about the that edit text window is that if you have an instrument that needs a flat sharp symbol in it. Um, you'll notice when I pull up the edit text window for the clarinet, this the flat sign has this little uh, gray rectangle over it. That just indicates that that's what you call an insert or what Finale calls an insert. So I have that selected now. If I go to text, you'll see this insert thing and that's the flat, but I can change that to sharp. All right. And now all of a sudden, I don't know if you can see that. Let me just zoom in a little. Now you can see there's a clarinet and B sharp. I don't know that you'd necessarily want that, but that's how you would do that. Um, so it allows you to customize the name in that way as well. Um, so Finale does a cool thing where it will auto number similar instruments. So let's say we're going to add another clarinet to the score. So we just go back to add instruments, woodwind, clarinet, and B flat. And voila we have two clarinets and you'll see in this uh, in the score we have clarinet in B flat 1 and in B flat 2 now the the auto number uh, feature exists down here and you can change the way that it's viewed now this is a standard way of doing it the instrument name and then one two three but you can change it to Roman numerals if you want or you can have it say first clarinet in B flat clarinet in B flat a etc Right, there's lots of ways to do that. And what's really cool is that Finale recognizes that string instruments uh, normally or traditionally have uh, Roman numerals. So if I add another violin, it will use uh, Roman numerals automatically for strings. And of course, if that's not what you want, you can just go in here and change it. Really easy. All right, so that is you know pretty much the basics about the what you can do with the instrument list, adding and deleting and changing instruments to set up your score. The one, the last thing I do want to mention about this is that uh, when you start working with linked parts, which is a whole other um, ball of wax, um, you'll uh, you'll access those linked parts from the document document menu, edit parts, and this will be your list of linked parts. Now, Finale will. Uh, list these instruments in the order that they're added. You'll notice that they're all in all kind of a weird order. They're not in the score order that you very expertly set up here. They're in the order that you added. Uh, it's just something to be aware of as you're working with the instrument list and linked parts. And there's an easy way to fix this, which I'll show you right now. Just go to Manage Parts. This window appears, and now you can kind of change the order of the instrument. So just select it and there's two buttons here that will let you move them up or down. Move your English horn and everything else is in order. And now it's just housekeeping really, but now your uh, linked parts are in order for you as you navigate through the score. And uh, that is the, 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 the basics of the instrument list functionality in the score manager. And that's about where I'm going to leave it right now. Uh, come back and we'll uh, take a look at some of the, the ways you can customize um, some of these staffs with this uh, lower right corner 
of this, the instrument list in the score manager. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you on the next one.